Alright, this mystery minute is how to make big sexy hair out of one wig. Not two wigs, not with a bump, just taking one pretty blonde wig and ratting the shit out of it. And uh, voluptuous gorgeousness. I've had a lot of questions on, Misty, I know you have a secret. And my number one secret on my head is the bump. It's all about bumps. Every good girl likes a big bump. So, I wear a lot of bumps. However, some people, if you have short, short hair or a bald head, you can't pin a bump to your head, so therefore you need to jack a wig up. And it's very simple. Again, you just need hairspray. A clip to section off the hair. A brush. And a rat comb. Now, I'm going to show you real quick here my personal secrets and tricks on how to jack a wig is you start at the back because in the final product you still want the hair to be very shiny and smooth and sexy. So pull the wig forward, the piece forward that you're working on, and wrap the back. And I like to keep the ends in my fingertips as much as possible. It's not going to keep all of them, but try to keep most of them. And again, this is another drag trick where less is never more. You need a lot. You need a lot of teasing and a lot of hairspray. Now, the girl that I do these wigs for, this wig for, she keeps them on wig heads for years. She, I've done wigs for her in 2005 and she still has them. I don't know how, but she does. The trick is, you know, ratting it out and then smoothing the top piece making sure the end is very smooth and pretty you know coming out the front and there's a jack jack that piece now I personally start at the neck and go forward it's much easier but for the sake of showing you how it's easier to do it up here and then I'll start the neck and do sections and show you but I'll do one more up here so you take another section spray And again, especially if you have dark hair and you're wearing a blonde wig, you need to really rat it. Because see all, I mean, just, just this one piece, you can see all the tracks. So you're going to need to really French lace the bottom to hide that. You know, and I'm, for this girl, I'm actually more worried about height than thickness. She likes a big hair. And then let's take these two pieces and blend them together. And then again, just like always, smooth out the top. And that is a piece. Now what I'm going to do now for you next is I'm going to start down there and go up so it has volume it's stacked and the more it's stacked the higher it gets. But I'll come back about here and show you what I've done so far. So now we are back with the back half of the hair frizzed out. And I wanted to show you this stage in the process right now because a lot of people again freak out and you've heard me say this before that it has to go through an ugly stage before it goes through a pretty stage. And I told you in the beginning of this Misty Minute that you tease the back of the hair and so the top front can be combed out. That's mostly important for the very front of the wig, which I haven't done yet, which is here. Um, so that can be smoothed out over top. The, the back and the, I guess, the foundation of your, your hair, it's okay if all of it is in there. But it's a hot, ratted mess. And it's all kinds of crazy looking. But um, I just wanted to let you know that it, it's okay if it looks like a disaster because you're going to comb it out and make it look gorgeous. Also, um, I mentioned before that um, I sectioned off a piece of hair to leave untouched 
And also, just like on the wig line, kind of, I did a real thick French lace so that it covers the tracks. So when she's walking around, it won't see the lines on the back of her head. I'm going to go finish it. and So I have taken the, the braid, or the section that I had out, taken it back down to let it be smooth, and now we're just going to start combing the hair. And then we're just going to take the ends and from the back and comb it out lightly. Brushing the hair, remember that we teased it from the back. So, brushing it from the top, it should pretty much be smooth again and purdy. Purdy. Yeah. Brush it back out. Alright, now after it is all smoothed out in the back, that is how you have big, sexy hair with using just one wig. And that was a misty minute.